This is a general collective message, so only take what applies and let the rest fly. Most importantly, be sure to watch responsibly and always vibe with your tribe. Aloha everybody, this is Joey. Welcome back to the channel. Fa'afitai telelava for being here today. Let's see what messages spirit has for you. So you guys, today I'm picking up on some energy uh, from someone. Or this could also be someone working with other people. Picking up on some energy that wants to keep you isolated. That wants you not to have any love, have any support in your life that wants you to not uh, join with your soul tribe, join with soulmates, join with your community. That's when I want to say your community, I'm talking about they don't want you, they don't want you joining with like minded individuals. Number nine, I'm getting the number nine, I'm getting the number six here heavily. Okay. Number nine represents wisdom. It represents enlightenment, uh, tapping into the higher consciousness. It also brings about closure and completion as well. And talks speaks on this, your service to humanity. So I'm speaking to people here who others may be benefiting from you and uh, benefiting from having contact with you. Mercury energy is on the reading as well. They benefit from having contact with you. Okay, there's some sort of some sort of exchange of energy that is a positive exchange of energy that I'm picking up here. And there's this energy here that does not want you to forge specific connections. I'm getting this energy is not wanting you to not wanting you to feel support from anybody. They don't want you to feel supported. They don't want you to feel like you belong they they don't want you in a balanced harm, harmonious energy is what i'm getting they're wanting you to embody the energy of an isolated individual they're wanting you to be in this isolated energy to where you feel like you are you are alone i'm also getting they're wanting you in this energy so that you can give up okay this could be somebody in somebody's toxic workplace um whether you work online um uh or whether you work in a a brick and mortar is what I'm getting here. Our uh, uh, physical location. Okay. They're wanting you to feel isolated. And they're wanting you to feel isolated in a way that you're not able to. I'm getting support yourself. I'm getting uh, something to do with your foundation. With the way, the way that you make money. Okay. The way that you. And when I say the way that you make money, I'm talking about not only your gifts, your abilities, your, your skill set that you have uh, based off of your natural abilities or based off an education program that you went through or life experience or experience on the jobs in general. But I'm also getting. I'm also picking up. Your spiritual abilities specifically here, OK? There's somebody that's wanting you to, yeah, look at this, social exclusion. They're wanting you to feel like you don't belong. They're wanting, they're wanting to take you out of this energy because I feel like the more that you, the more that you come across individuals to where Venus love energy is here as well, the more that you come across people that actually are like-minded, who think like you or who feel like you or who actually accept you, the more I'm getting, the more comfortable, the more comfortable you are at expressing yourself. And that is what they don't, whatever this energy is, doesn't want you to be in that energy as what I'm getting here. So I fell on the floor. Hollyweird fell on the floor. So this could be somebody who's tied to the entertainment industry. This could be somebody who wants to be a part of the entertainment industry. And mind you, this entertainment industry, it's not only just your specific hollywood like making movies t tv stuff like that is also it all it also uh, includes entertainment social media okay i'm also getting uh uh commerce i'm getting commerce i'm getting um i am getting something to do with commerce retail reselling um 
influencing, promoting, stuff like that, okay? There's a huge network. When, I, when I'm speaking on Holly Weird, I'm talking about a huge network of individuals. And we got somebody here. People could be discriminating on you against because of your age. Wanting you to feel like you're too old. Wanting you to feel like you're too young. Black magic is at the helm here. It says someone who practices harmful or malevolent forms of magic or witchcraft with the intent of causing negative effects, harm, or misfortune in your life. They may seek to inflict physical, emotional, or spiritual harm on their target, often motivated by revenge, jealousy, or ill will. I'm getting a lot of jealous energy here. I'm getting mis I'm getting revenge because of a misunderstanding, okay, for some people here. Stalking behavior, yeah. Somebody's been stalking you, watching you. I'm getting private eyes. I'm watching you. Something like they see your every move. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting some sort of hidden camera, some sort of. I'm getting hidden camera. I'm getting hacking into computer systems, hacking into surveillance cameras. Hacking into ring cameras. I'm getting hacking into smart television sets, okay? I'm getting hacking into cameras that are attached to these devices, okay? That can be uh, these attachments that could be used or uh, what am I getting here? Wow, this energy is coming in heavy. Oof, hold up, y'all. I'm getting a hacker. I'm getting a hacker specifically. Somebody's hacking it into somebody's security system or to somebody's some sort of camera, whether it's a webcam, whether it's a camera on your television, your ring camera, something like that, okay? Somebody here, you, you are emotionally exhausted from these attacks that they have been sending because I'm picking up a lot of, I'm picking that energy up here. I'm picking up like this energy like that feels like you've been running a marathon. So I feel like maybe this has been going on for a long time for some people here. On and off, I'm getting on and off. I'm getting, I'm getting as soon as you banish the energy, as soon as you return to sender, as soon as you um dissipate the energy, stand up and fight against it and protect yourself, they're putting putting it back again. Okay, whatever whoever this is. They're putting it back again to create some sort of obstacle course for you to make you feel like your efforts are in vain. I'm getting to make you feel like what you're doing. You're doing it in, in vain. Somebody here is trying to take some sort of dream that you had, uh, some sort of vision that you have for yourself, and they are trying to make you give up on it or make you believe that because they may have succeeded and it specifically depends on what area this goal that you're because if this goal that you're aiming for is a part of holly weird then I'm, I'm i'm showing that this is somebody who has some sort of connection with that and they have they have some sort of influence over it in some way fashion or form whether it's they know how to manipulate the system uh what time is it 415 whether they know how to manipulate the system it's something weird okay it's something weird going on behind the scenes with somebody who is attached to holly weird this person is creating obstacles for you i'm getting this is not the only door where you could be successful in so always keep that in mind. always keep in mind that you have options okay Always keep it in mind that you have options and that if somebody is a part of some sort of organization that you're trying to thrive in or some sort of platform you're trying to thrive on, know that that's not the only option for you. There's you have you are a multifaceted individual. You have many talents, many gifts, many abilities, and you could just just so easily pick up another craft, trade, talent, gift of yours 
and go and open up a go and knock on open up a different a different door is what I'm, I'm hearing. That is what I'm hearing for somebody here. It's like. Don't think that you are trapped and stuck in this situation. There's some sort of goal, some sort, something you've been working on, whether this is, like I said, it has to do with your career for somebody heavily has to do with career. Um, what you do for your livelihood, what you are doing for uh, to support yourself or. You're building some sort of foundation or planting some sort of seeds to uh, expand or to see some sort of to the fruits of your labor. You're wanting it to expand, but somebody here has a uh, has a tight hold on something that you are trying to do. And spirit is saying, don't I'm here and go with the flow. I'm hearing if, if 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 they are holding you back or if they are if they are exerting their influence on the situation and it's making it hard for you to thrive in whatever it is you that you're doing, that that's not the only way is what I'm hearing. It's not the only way. There are ways, and it's specifically well, how I'm, I just heard the devil's playground. So it's like. How do you, wow, I'm hearing, how do you expect things to be fair in the devil's playground? I'm hearing lawlessness. Anything goes. In the devil's playground. I'm getting you are being led out of the devil's playground area to where they these people have this <sighs> have this say so you're you you are being moved out of that area. This is a gateway. I just saw 1155 a gateway for a huge change for yourself for you to just change this narrative because I'm hearing things have been pretty hard, especially with all the obstacles that are being thrown in your way on a daily basis with people watching your every move, watching your every, everything, everything you try to build, they're trying to, why they're watching it so that they can try every, every angle to tear it down or to sabotage it. And you may be feeling emotionally exhausted right now. It's like, why can't I like somebody here? You, you're thinking you, you're trying to sell a home. Okay. Are you trying to move? Are you trying to, Build up enough uh, money to purchase a home or something like that. There's something uh, that has to do with foundation and every attempt to make it seems like the world is against you. It seems like there's so many different obstacles that are presented in front of your face and it seems like you can never get ahead. That's what I'm getting. But the thing about it is that you're not alone. They want you to feel like you're alone because if you feel like you're alone, you feel like nobody really cares about you. There may be some key individuals around you who don't care about you. Yes, but it's not for you to stop there and just look at them and, and put every all your stock into these people. Yes, they may not care about you, but there's other people that do and that will, you know. Look at this. See, cyber harassment. This is definitely something that's happening online. You guys are coming across negative Nancy's online. Yep. You guys may be content creators. Not all of you. Some of you are, you know, some of you are just seeing certain things that really are planting negative seeds into your psyche. Okay. But you have to be very, very careful about that. There's a lot of uh, gang stalking. Harassment online. Finesse and numbers is what I'm hearing. I just heard finagling, finagling, some finagling the information, finagling contact. Okay, I don't know what this means. Okay, finagling contact. I'm getting numbers. I'm getting interactions. I'm getting your message. Okay. Distorting messages.
Toxicity is, a, is what I'm getting here as well. Some of these people, <clears throat> some of y'all have toxic friends who are around you, okay? People who pretend to be your friends or people who are very, very, uh, people who have confirmation right there. People who have attached themselves to you, but they're actually toxic. You say, oh, I support you. I'm your friend. I'm here for you. The list goes on and on, but they're actually toxic individuals and they're actually helping whether they realize it or not, they're helping this agenda being pushed against you. They're helping with this, uh, this black magic energy. They're helping with it. Okay. So you have to be very, very careful of who you are interacting with during this time. Okay. Somebody, your uncle is involved in this. Okay. Uh, this could also maybe this may not this may not necessarily be your uncle. This could also be listen, the brother of one of your parents or the husband of one of your parents siblings can also indicate someone who is like an uncle to you, but not of blood relation or an older person called uncle out of respect or a family member who provides support, guidance and love similar to a parent figure. This could also be somebody who says, call me uncle. Just like, just like if I were to say uncle Joey, you know what I'm saying? Uncle, da -da -da, whatever. It's like, there's that kind of energy here that we have. This person may be of a certain age. Okay. This is an acquaintance for some of you guys. Okay. Someone, you know, casually or have met a few times, but with whom you do not have a close or personal relationship with. They are not considered a close friend, but rather someone you are familiar with or have a casual connection to. So you see what I'm talking about here? We have an uncle or someone who poses themselves to the collective as an uncle. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as someone who has um, a certain level of experience be under their under, under their belt. Okay. Uh, this could also be auntie. Auntie as well, right? This could be a a, a, fem a female in masculine energy as well. But I get this is someone who's trying to uh, have some sort of dominance over you or have some sort of seniority over you. OK, so I'm hearing especially if this is competition, this person feels like they should be the one that pops before you because of seniority. They feel like they've been doing something longer than you. They feel like they've uh, they've been living on this earth longer than you or they feel like they know more than you. They may feel like they, 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 they put in more work than you have or had more uh, products released or whatever this is, uh, especially if it's somebody online and content creator. I, they created more content than you. They're, they're thinking that, hey, I'm supposed to be the one that, that pops off first, not this individual. So anyone, okay, I'm getting anyone that they see as some sort of threat, they're going to try to, you know, throw salt on their game in whatever, whichever way that they throw salt. Okay. What else we have here for the collective? A surprise friendship. We have, uh, someone who unexpectedly, unexpectedly appears or does something out of the ordinary, causing others, uh, catching others off guard or causing excitement or delightment. So, I feel like this person, you were not expecting this type of energy from this person. I'm getting this person's intentions may have caught you off guard. Okay. I'm getting for somebody, you may have felt like this person called you, caught you slipping. And what I mean by somebody catching you slipping, that means that they're catching you off guard. You were not expecting this from this individual, you know, so maybe your guard was a little down. OK, and this person was able to weasel their way in or launch some sort of attack. OK, um, I'm hearing I'm getting energetic attack with this black magic energy. Energetic is energy. OK, that's being directed towards your way. OK, this person could have come to you at offering you some sort of friendship at one point in time. They could be depending on where you are on the timeline. OK, whether this is something that has already happened to you. Whether it's something that is happening right now or whether it's something that is slated to happen in the future, in the near future is what I'm getting for some people here. OK, and what I am getting here is that, uh, OK, what the card says here is a person with whom you share a bond or mutual affection, trust and support. 
They are someone you enjoy spending time with, sharing experiences and confiding in, providing companionship, laughter, and emotional connection in times of joy and challenges. Okay, if somebody is coming in to offer you some sort of friendship, but again, we're talking about toxic friends here, okay? This is this this person, whoever this is, they're wanting to prevent you from uh, having healthy connections with people and they're wanting to bring in this toxic energy into your life, okay? Okay, you, um, I'm hearing you guys are receiving guidance from above. You're receiving some sort of spiritual gui uh, guidance, okay? Some of you guys, you are hearing things. Some of you guys, you are seeing, I'm hearing, pay attention to books, okay? Pay attention to books. You may come across a book or you may see a book title. You may be flipping through a book or a magazine, okay? And you see certain words, pay attention to those uh, words that you see because those words may be offering you clues or some sort of uh, specific or special insight that you could use uh, for your life at this particular moment, all right? That I'm hearing some insights within a book, okay, what the card says here, foretell your upcoming events, okay? So I'm getting I'm going to pay attention to words, phrases, sentences that jump out at you, whether you you can see it on the card deck, like in the back here, you see words that are printed on the card decks here. So, yeah, you can see it like um, in different areas here. Right. Or even in different books. I just got confirmation on my ear. What is I don't have my watch on. What is this? A news break notification. Yeah. So. I'm getting it's just gonna jump out at you unexpectedly, so just pay attention to that as well. Okay, we got digital whisper. Okay, this this says uh, being aligned with connections, embracing each other digitally, but the longing for longing for touch remains. It's an erratic, tumultuous connection that is damaging and poisonous. So, I feel like you guys are actually uh, doing a lot of communication. Some of you guys may be doing a lot of communication online. Okay. Um, during this period, or there are some specific connections that will make themselves known to you during this time period where you, you know, whatever time period that you're in when, when you're watching this reading. And I feel like some of those connections are good. Some of them will be positive. I mean, positive, some will be negative is what I'm trying to say. But you just have to make sure that you are paying attention and listening to the guidance that you're receiving because we also have like i said this this over arching energy of black magic of uh someone wishing to control your situation or someone wishing to control the narrative behind you at this time and here we have uh danger approaching here number 33 this was number 32 and number 58 okay so we have a sense of foreboding fills the air and weighs on your mind. A lurking menace stalks you and keeps you alert. Yeah, there's something here, okay, that you just need to watch out for. It says, I recognize the danger we're in and it still burns my soul. It's a threat that can never be ignored but must be confronted. I feel like this danger is here to threaten the positive connections that you are slated to make or are you are currently forging in your life right now okay that are currently coming out within your energy i feel like these connections are not only platonic but they're also romantic as well they could also be like familial connections that you're slated to make or that you are making you may be meeting this may be the these connections may have to be initiated online because i feel like some of you guys as soul tribe members or people who are of your quote unquote community are not necessarily in the same city or even state that you currently live we're talking about things of a spiritual nature here i feel like the more you evolve the more your energy is expanding and the more i'm getting i just heard tribes being recalled tribes tribes coming back together I don't know what that means for you, but we do have the energy here. I also got out my angels and uh, archangels and demons deck and the energy that we have here also 
uh, what was on the bottom of this deck, okay, is Raum, okay? The demon Raum, and this is saying, or Raum. How do you wanna say it? I don't know how to say it, but we're gonna say it like that, okay? And this is a demon of theft and destruction. I feel like these energies that are around you are trying to destroy these beautiful connections that are slated to happen in your life or that you're moving towards. I feel like, yeah, you see that? I feel like there's interference. It's interference that is taking place. They are trying to interfere in what is being built and what you're currently uh, uh, manifesting into your life right now. That is what is taking place here. You also have... Ooh. You also have... I'm, gonna do, I'm not even going to shuffle. I'm just going to leave it just like this. Okay? Follow. I'm going to go with the flow. Make sure you guys are going with the flow. And make sure that if certain cycles are ending, allow it to end. Make sure that if certain doors are opening for you, allow it to open and have an open mind as well, okay? So we have Archangel Az um, Azrael, okay? So this Archangel signifies the energies of transition. You see what I'm talking about? It's like you have the, the help and the assistance of Archangels around you at this time. Um, Azrael, like I said, represents a smooth transition from your karmic past to a new future for yourself or a new present for yourself to make that this archangel is here to make that transition comfortable for you and to give you guidance in the time of loss. Okay. So you, it says call on Azrael for comfort during times of grief and loss. Seek his guidance and understanding and accepting the, the trans life transitions. So there's something that is moving forward for you, okay? But there are some, there's this, this energy that's lurking in the background that's trying to stop it from taking place, okay? Very much so, trying to stop it from taking place. We got for us, okay? And this is a demon of teaching logic, ethics, and virtues of all herbs and stones, okay? And this says, use discernment when seeking knowledge of herbs and stones. Ensure that any teachings align with ethical principles and protect against manipulative, manipulative for, uh, influences disguised as helpful advice. You see, I, I feel like a way this energy is gonna try to come in as well, or is, has come in as well, is under the guise of friendship, under the guise of, I'm with you, okay? Allow me to guide you, but they are trying to guide you away from your true counterparts is what I'm hearing for some people here. They're trying to guide you away from your true friendships. They're trying to guide you away from your true family, They're trying to guide you away from true love. Okay. They're trying to take you away from it. And also with the herbs and stones, be careful. Be careful with the stones that you use, you know what I'm saying, for spiritual properties and whatnot. And also be careful of herbs that you're using right now, too, because they could actually be harmful to you. Make sure that you're doing your research, okay? We got um, Hares. And it's a demon of causing fear and revealing hidden truth. So be careful of people coming around you. Friendship. There's some, some of these so-called friends will try to... Will try to uh sabotage your connections with new people by quote unquote exposing something that may be seen as shameful or tarnishing your reputation okay or making you look a certain way okay bringing certain things out that you've not like certain traumatic events that may have taken place in the past that you've not gotten over you know and using those against you to actually, I'm um, getting using those against you to um, sway the. Oh, wow, I just heard sway the public vote. Wow, I just heard sway the public vote to sway how people look at you and whether or not they're going to support you or not, or whether or not they're going to see you as one of their own. We got Sabnak, which is a demon of building fortresses and causing wounds. You see what I'm talking about here? It's like these people that are wanting to come in and cause wounds. They want you so messed up in your heart, right? In your mind, in your soul, that you will not allow new connections to be made, that you are not strong enough 
See, it, this is coming back to this um, exhaustion energy. These negative Nancy's are trying to exhaust your energies. They're trying to deplete your energy so that once it's time for you to build, that you don't have any energy. That's why you have to be careful of throwing your stones before um, your pearls before swine. Okay, that old that saying. You know, be careful of throwing your uh, pearls before swine because they're not going to appreciate them, right? That's just gonna just gonna treat it like it's trash, and you're just gonna be it's gonna be wasted effort. All right. So Sabnak it says use protective prayers and rituals to guard against harm and disease. So be careful with your health right now too. Make sure you're keeping up on your health and. Uh, getting enough rest, sleep, eating right, water, the rock, checkups, whatever you need to do. And also relaxing, relaxing as well. I just got a confirmation in my ear. Seek to build defenses through positive and ethical means. And avoid causing harm to others in pursuit of protection. Okay. So make sure that while you're protecting yourself, you're not hurting anybody else. Okay. Because this demon can cause festering sores and build strong uh, it says and build strong defenses. So I feel like the wounds that they're trying to create, they're trying to create room, wounds and traumas, okay, within the collective that are really hard to uh, heal. That's what I'm getting. And we got Pazuzu, okay? This is a demon of pestilence and disease. You see that another with disease, so be careful. I'm hearing tis this season. Be careful. Make sure that you are, if you take multivitamins, make sure that you're up on that. Make sure they're up on your minerals. If you need to take minerals, make sure they're up on, up on that. Like I said, make sure that you're taking care of your body, body, mind, and soul holistically. Okay? Holistically. I'm hearing you, you already know what you need to do. Or if you don't know what you need to do, you need to just spend time in contemplation and trust the, uh, the spiritual guidance that you receive. Confirmation was it? It was a text message. Arrives at four forty-five. What is angel number four forty-five? Angel number four forty-five. Let me look at that number. Uh. Angel number 445 is said to encourage people to take action and not wait for things to happen on their own. Yeah, it's time for you to take action. It's time for you to stand up for yourself. It's time for you to go what, go for what you want and let nothing stop you. It doesn't matter what obstacles people put in front of you. What do you want? And are you gonna let are you gonna let somebody else dictate your future? Are you gonna let somebody else dictate what you're capable of achieving and receiving in life? You know, you have to really ask yourself that. So uh, Pazuzu is an ancient Mesopotamian demon that can cause illness and misfortune. So the advice here is to maintain cleanliness and health practices. There's a strong emphasis on your health at this time. Okay. Use protection prayers and charms against illnesses, okay? And seek medical and, and spiritual healing when needed, okay? So take care of your body, take care of your mind, take care of your soul at this time, okay? Somebody's trying to catch you off guard. I just looked at that surprise. Somebody is trying to catch you off guard, but if you are prepared, you don't have to get ready. OK, this is a stranger that's coming through a brand new individual that is coming through here. A person one does not know or who is not familiar. Individuals who are unknown to you and have not been introduced or connected to you in any way. Interactions may be brief and impersonal, characterized by a lack of prior, um, a lack of prior acquaintance or relationship okay this is a brand new person y'all and spirit is trying to tell you 
listen to what i what i'm telling you in this reading okay because it's going to help somebody you just need to be on your p's and q's and know that somebody is planning some sort of sneak attack and they're trying to come in under the guise of oh i'm your family i'm your friend i'm here to help you out let me guide you let me help you you know let me be there for you but they're trying to wedge wedge their way into your life and stop you from aligning with your true soul tribe aligning with I'm hearing your spirit guides in the in the in this uh, physical, okay, and in the spiritual. Wow. So I don't know who needs to hear this message. Okay, this is for whoever it's for. Thank y'all for being open-minded to listen to even listen to this message. And you guys be stay safe out there and take care. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Ciao. <music>